Hi family, I hope you're good. I hope you're feeling blessed. It's your sister, Pusha Mahal. Again, we must always try to do things in a different way in order to see that even if I'm walking wherever I am, I'll be able to do videos. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to try to uh, brief. Um, I've decided to make my story short, even though I know the length of my story can be so long. Uh, I've decided to make them short in order for people to be able to get more details of my life, my story in my books. Uh, like I said, oh, I think I'm so sorry. I think I said this to the channel members uh, post. Uh, so some of you may not know, but with time you will get to know what is going to happen in the ministry our family um as a traditional he loves seen them all you name it as a sangoma as a witch whatever you want to classify me under and categorize me because people say no that traditional healers that are good whatever it's our culture it's whatever and i will always say this family i'm a born again christian but do not call my culture demonic because it's not Okay, and I will not say the emphasis on herbs is, 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 is demonic. No, I'll never say that. I'm sorry. That is why if you go to words, that's why when you go to university, I think you can still study uh, medicinal plants. You understand? I will never take the, the worst then or the whatever European, whatever teachings higher than African ways. But once we speak of spirituality, I will always come out boldly to speak of spirituality because the creator of the universe the owner of spirit you know when we speak of spirit we speak of god first because the bible says he is spirit so there is no other spiritual realm that is above the spirit the spiritual realm that is born of God and from God. So there is no spiritual wisdom. There is no spiritual intelligence. There is no spiritual uh, uh, light that anybody can have except through Christ Jesus. Because when God created everyone, everyone, everything was okay, you know. Everything was fine until sin entered. Because the Bible says God created everything and everything was good. Then when sin entered, we were separated from God. Now, I'm not here to preach to anybody. I wanted to tell you a story of a lady who came to me, right? This lady came to me not as a Sangoma but came to me as a born again Christian, uh, as a pastor, you know, because she knew me as a Sangoma. So she was tired of sleeping with her boss. So she came and confessed, uh, in a sense, something to me, something that I don't even want. I shouldn't have uh, brought it here, but it's something that is going to direct me to, to direct and share with you to where we are going today. This lady said, I am tired of sleeping with my boss, uh, Snake right remember i'm no longer a sangoma so how i solve things is different from how i used to solve things before so she came and said pastor Pocha, you know this lady left excuse me left joburg to follow me all the way to kzn in order for her to 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 confide to open up to me pastor Pocha, i'm tired of sleeping with my boss snake i'm like well okay what what do you mean by that she said i got employed I found everybody working in the office. I got promoted. I just worked there for two months. Then I was promoted to manager. Then I started enjoying more than anybody. Actually, people at work was literally surprised to see me buy a car within a period of six months. And I was getting all the benefits. My boss loved me so much. Uh, we started having uh, an affair on the sides with my boyfriend. So I thought all these benefits were coming to me because I'm, 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 I'm sleeping with him, you know. And then with time, my, my schedule was changed. My boss said to me, uh, you should not be working on day shifts. It's like the company was basic. I, I cannot go into details, but it, it there were morning and evening, um, morning and night shifts. So the company said, uh, the, the boss said, I want you to manage uh, everything that happens in the night. So you won't be coming in, um, on day shift stuff you'll be coming only in night shifts so night shift came 
at first she, she says i was working with the security guards and uh, three people that came and joined as time goes by the, the the other people that i was with in the office started not coming i was actually alone in the in the whole office i didn't have a problem with that i was seeing myself as someone that is of executive of importance in the company because i i oversee certain things she's an overseer of the company in a sense so with time it was no longer three security guards outside so it was like one security guard in a sense there was th this night shift thing was not really necessary but i was there and i didn't care because he even told me that don't mind you can actually go to there there was um like a living room within within the office and the kitchen you know he was like you can go to the couch take a a, a blankie and and sleep you know and that's what i used to do you know i started doing that and i enjoyed night shift because mainly because i was not working then one day my boss came uh we we were chilling because we we have, we have the thing then Uti, when the boss came she said uh they started talking and the boss was like do you see everything that you have the monies that you get you know they're gonna get more if you oblige you know if you uh, abide in a sense to to who i am you know if you want to know me more when i divorce my wife you can actually be the wife that is the main of everything because my wife and i are going through a lot of things hi bo i didn't know that we've been in an affair and i thought because he's a rich man he's got everything he definitely has women all over and i'm just part of that but then now here he is he's telling me i can be on the main seat you know the driver's seat so i'm like okay i'm impressed i'm gonna do this so i'm listening he says the only thing that is not making me and my wife to finalize the divorce is because we have a covenant that we took. So my wife thinks she's the only woman. She, she thinks I cannot leave her because she's the only woman who can agree to do what I want to tell you. And the girl was listening. You know, <laughs> you must remember she is on the side. She wants to be on the. She wants to be the maid. So the man tells him, tells her that uh, my wife has been sleeping with my snake. I have a snake, and please, uh, don't get scared. It doesn't get anybody, especially anybody that I let. If I let you close to it. If you come to it through me, if I tell you about it, there is no danger that is involved. Especially, I'm going to highlight this. Go back to my videos and I'll always tell you that. If he says to you, I love you, he cannot over, he cannot give you over. You see, so I mean, I, the real I love you. So basically, he tells her that uh, I, I want you to try to sleep with him, you know. Uh, and he calls, he calls, this lady says he calls, he calls the snake, <laughs> my uncle, he, say, he says, my uncle is not rough, my uncle is calm, my uncle is not, is not violent, my uncle is not, he's not going to do anything to you. You just have to do certain things and be prepared for him. He will just come do his thing and he will get out from there onwards. You and him are closed. That's just it. And she was like, are you sure? Is that it? And she agreed to that. You see, she says she agreed, but she was tired because every time people, day shift staff are coming, there were times the boss would just say, go do it on your own. He's going to come. Uh, at first, she, he will be in the presence. Like he, he will, he, at first he started making her sleep with it. It was okay. It was the first ritual that he was part of. Second time he was there. Third time he was there. So with time, he was getting tired of feeding his own snake of this person. She has to go, bring, take herself there. So she was getting tired of doing a ritual. She felt that she's doing a ritual for this family. There was no divorce. The wife and husband were not divorcing. In fact, they were part of all this. It, she was part of... Um, uh, 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 women in a sense women that are being changed for this thing and she says sometimes because he's not there she will just go back and sleep on the on the couch 
from where this thing was kept she will go on that living couch and get tired the day staff will find her sleeping wake her around one she's tired so she started not going to work she started having problems she says i started attending uh different churches in order for me to get help i went to different people so nobody can actually help me i came all the way because i know you can you please help me i am tired I am tired of sleeping with my boss name and I don't think I'm the first one because a lot of women started approaching me especially when they heard about the car that you are not the first you are not the last I was like that and then he fired me you know it was a story that started to come out so this is the journey I went with this lady I said to her uh, first, let us go to, I want somebody at home also who says, I want to repent because this lady said, I want to repent. I told her the gospel truth of uh, the recapitulations of sleeping with this thing. There's a lot of things that it took from you. Uh, you can be renewed. Uh, your soul can be safeguarded. But there are certain things physically that you can never, ever give take back because they were taken from you but what you can do is if you decide that you don't want to own this anymore you want to be renewed you want to own something that is new i said let us go to the book of this is how we went with this lady i said let us go to the book of psalms psalm 51 i pray this with this lady and the other uh, scripture that i will I will, I will quote with you here and then anybody that says god i want to get rid of me i want to get rid of anything that has been holding me i want to denounce i want to disconnect myself to anything that has have uh, has had a strong hold and i i want you i want somebody that says god i want you more than i want anything that concerns this world god i want anything i want your will in my life i want you to take over father god i repent and surrender all to you father god anything that knowing and unknowing i might have uh, put myself into i want to disconnect lord any altar i reject and denounce it in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Psalm 51, this is David a year later after he had committed a sin with who? With Bathsheba. David comes to the throne of God and says, have mercy on me, O God. David does not say, let me hide away from God forever. Even though this thing happened when David said, let me approach the throne of God, of, uh, of God. He says, have mercy on me, oh God, because of your unfailing love. God's love is steadfast. God's love is unfailing. David knew that. And David is bringing that before us this morning. Because of your great compassion, blot out the stain of my sins. Wash me clean from my guilt. Purify me from my sin. Because if you do not bring your guilt before God, the devil is going to use your guilt. The devil is going to use that subconscious mind of you thinking that ah, you have done this. The devil is going to eat you up on your guilt. So you need to bring it before the Lord this morning. David says, for I recognize my rebellion. The Bible in Proverbs chapter 1 verse 23 says, If you repent, you know, if you turn to my reproach, you need to repent. You need to recognize that I am shortfall. I am weak. I'm a sinner. I, I need God. God doesn't need me, but I need God. David says, For I recognize my rebellion. It haunts me day and night. Against you and you alone have I sinned. In a lot of times, people, we tend to forget. See, this woman recognized that I do not 
not want to do this anymore. I don't care what's going to happen to me, Pastor. I do not care whether I'm going to leave. All I know is I cannot go ba back to the Creator in any way short. I want to come back to God in order for God to restore me. Because at this moment, I know the only one who can restore me to my full ability is God who created me. The Bible says, I have done what's evil in your side. David doesn't say, God, I have sinned against Uriah. David says, against you alone, God, have I sinned. It is important to recognize that even in the in the in the sight when no one sees you there's an eye that sees everything because god is god who sees even in dark places god has an eye that sees through every everything the bible says everything is naked before the sight of god so there is nothing absolutely nothing that we can do to hide our shamefulness our sins before god is it not better to bring it before God. The Bible says, David says, I have done what is evil in your side. You will be proved right in what you say. And your judgment against me is just. The Bible tells us that God is God of justice. David knew that he has done something that is evil in the side of God. Not only did he commit adultery, but he had committed murder. This woman comes to me and says, Pastor, I've been sleeping with my boss, my, 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 my boss. She knew that this is somebody's husband. She knew that she had to accept that about herself in order to bring it before God. The Bible says, for I was born a sinner. Yes, from the moment my mother conceived me. We are born with sin because of the sin of Adam and Eve. It is only Jesus who comes to purify us. It is only through the Son of God that we are born new. We are born of God. We are born of the Spirit of God. Now David says, I was born a sinner. Now today we are enabled to say we are wretched sinners saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. If it was not for the work of Christ, we will still be saying we are sinners. But now we are the righteousness of God. We are the inheritance of God and the richness and the glorious of God because of the work of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, purify me. And what you desire, Utu David, for I was born a sinner. Yes, from the moment my mother conceived me. That is why Jesus is not born like you and I. Jesus is the spirit of God. Jesus is the word of God. And Jesus was not a conception of sexual intercourse be, 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 uh, of a man and a woman. God had to take charge. The Bible says, but you desire honesty from the womb, teaching me wisdom, even there. Purify me from my sins and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. He is God that purifies. The blood of the lamp has done it for us. If you come to God and say, Lord, purify me. Lord, take charge. Lord, I, I, I repent. Lord, I don't want my way anymore. It is your way or no other way. This morning, if you say, God, I want to give you everything in order for you to take charge because God hates sin. The Holy Spirit cannot dwell freely if you are in charge. This morning say, God, like David, I come before you and say, purify me from my sins and I will be clean. Lord, this morning I say, wash me and I'll be whiter than snow. Oh, give me back the joy again, oh God. You have broken me. Now let me rejoice. Family, let me tell you, even if you're a child of God and you go around doing things that you think that people cannot see, but you are doing them in secret, it's going to break you because you are a child of God. Children of God are 
enabled to discern what is right and wrong and it breaks them when they know that what they are doing is not pleasing before the sight of God but to create in me a clean heart, O oh God. Renew a loyal spirit within me. At this morning, create in me a clean heart, O oh God. Renew a loyal spirit within me. Do not banish me from your presence and don't take your Holy Spirit from me. This morning, let us pray and ask God to be in charge and not take and take away his spirit from us. May we pray this morning and say, create in me a clean heart, oh God. May we pray this morning and say, God, we repent. If you confess your sins, if you repent, Unkulunkulu will forgive you. Father, in the name of Jesus, this morning we thank you, God, for who you are in our lives. We thank you that you are God that is immutable. Even if we can change at times, even if we can listen to the flesh at times, you remain a faithful God. You remain the king of kings. You remain the, the first and the end. You remain the beginning and the end. You remain the God of yesterday, today, and forever. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are wonderful God. There is no God like you. You are mighty, O oh God. You are self-existing God. God. Everything there is, God, you created by mouth. Lord, we thank you for your wonderful work. Mighty God, this morning, we thank you for the life of our Lord Jesus. Where would we be without you, God? We thank you for your grace, oh God. We thank you for your Holy Spirit, oh God. Father, we thank you that in the beginning you had a divine plan. Father, we thank you that you chose us before the foundation of this world. Mighty God, we thank you for your word that is alive. Mighty God, we thank you for the comfort of your word. Father God, in the name of Jesus, this morning we come before you, God, to say like David, oh God, creating a suckling heart. God, we repent this morning. Father, may you pour out your spirit in the hearts of people that is still working, convicting the world of its sin. Mighty God, we thank you, God. You said the world will not understand him because they do not know him but he is in us lord we thank you for your spirit that is daily working to convict us in the name of jesus you said what you are doing christ they do not know but when you are gone they will see you said if you do not leave the ambassador the holy spirit will not come lord we thank you that you do not leave us alone you did not leave us as orphans your spirit is working mighty god we are praying for repentant hearts we are praying for a great revival oh god where men and women and children oh god will focus on you the author and the finisher of our faith i'm praying for anybody at home who says oh god i want to get rid of me i want you alone spirit of god may you take charge in the name of jesus mighty god may you free your people oh god from any strongholds in the name of jesus mighty god this morning we say we decree and declare with the authority of Jesus in our life a new beginning for us to walk in our salvation free of burdens of this world free of any strongholds in the name of Jesus may you exalt yourself God may you glorify yourself God father your word will not go back empty father your word will not go and not do its work mighty God may you do your work this morning as we give you glory and praise and worship you God we know you are God whose glory has filled this world in the name of Jesus. I pray for everyone, oh God, that says, I have a burden. I have a burden. I want to get rid of this burden. May you free your people, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, may we continue to stand firmly and boldly and doing nothing else but preaching Christ crucified. The very end, the very beginning, the very risen, oh God, we are called yours. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Spirit of God, this morning. In Jesus' name, I pray. 
say thank you and thank you lord and thank you family i don't have to say much this morning we say lord we want to repent may the spirit and the grace of god be upon you and may you remember family we repent he loves us he's god of justice he's god of love and god is with you father in the name of jesus may god be with you i love you god loves you more stay blessed